Hello, Steeler Nation, and welcome to the latest episode of your Pittsburgh Steelers Syndicate. Guys, today it was finally formally announced at a press conference at what well, is still Heinz Field. The uh, fact that Acrisure, the Michigan-based insurance firm, are the new name name sponsors of the new of the Pittsburgh Steelers Stadium, the stadium which will be known as the Acrisure Stadium for the 2022 season. Um, it was revealed obviously yesterday, after it emerged early in the morning from. Uh, Andrew Filippone of 93.7, the fan that Heinz would not be renewing its uh, name sponsorship rights, despite what Rudy has said in February this year. It then emerged later in the day again from Andrew, Andrew Filippone of 93.7, the fan, that Acrisure had won the rights and had sealed the, the deal to name the Steelers Stadium for the 2022 season and beyond. Now, the announcement that Acrisure were the new stadium sponsors that caused, well, that's, that's outrage in Steeler Nation, shall we say? Looking at the reactions on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, and I know social media is now we always have an explosion of views, but not just that through fans that were interviewed on Pittsburgh TV that I've seen on YouTube and in other sources. You know, the real outrage at this, the fact they don't like the name, the fact that they think it's a daft name, the fact that it's uh, not a not a Pennsylvania firm, uh, that it's always going to be Heinz Field to them. There's a real dislike, it seems, for Acrisure as the name of our new stadium, of the the old stadium, Heinz Field. Lots of uh, Pittsburgh fans from all over the US who were interviewed yesterday outside Heinz Field stated um, a negative preference towards the name and also a negative preference towards the Acrisure logo as well, saying they much preferred Heinz. There was also a bemoaning of the fact that the ketchup bottles on the stadium um, Jumbotron are likely to come down as well with the ending of Heinz sponsorship rights. Um, I heard a joke yesterday. Someone said it could be called the um, Acrisure Red No Claims Zone or something like that, or Red Denied Claims Zone or something like that um, as a bit of a joke. Um, so, like I said, today it was formally announced with Art Rudy II and Greg Williams, co-founder of Acrisure Insurance, um, shaking hands at... Field or now Acrisure Stadium um, and announcing the deal formally. The deal, which is thought to be $150 million over 15 years, averages out at around $10 million a year, and which is substantially more than Heinz were paying for the right to name the stadium. The company that owned the stadium are going to make a lot more money out of this deal than they would have out of any deal that Heinz could have offered. Heinz have already said that there was no way they could have matched this amount of money from Acrisure Insurance. It's also worth noting that the LA Rams and LA Chargers Stadium, SoFi Stadium, they gain around about $20 million a year in naming rights for their stadium from SoFi. So what do we know, guys? So yesterday, obviously, Greg Williams is very aware of the fact that there has been an, a, a large amount of criticism of the fact that Acrisure is a Michigan-based firm and not a um, Pennsylvania-based firm in what he said, in a couple of quotes of what he said. The first quote, obviously, is this one, which is taken from my good friend Chris Carter, who was at the, the news conference at the Acrisure Stadium. He said, Acrisure co-founder Greg Williams says they have over 100,000 Pennsylvania clients and that their presence in the area is bigger than most think. Trying to obviously demonstrate there there is an attachment between Acrisure and the Pennsylvania area and a number of Pennsylvania citizens, not just in the Pittsburgh area, but the whole state of Pennsylvania, where obviously the Steelers have a very big fan presence. He went on to talk about the fact that he was obviously a Steelers fan and he talked, he said this, Acrisure co-founder and long-time uh, fan Greg Williams. This is a pinch me moment. In the 70s, we couldn't get tickets in Pittsburgh. We had to go to away games from Cincinnati to San Diego. So I think now, obviously, that they have the naming rights, they'll be able to attend every single home game. This is obviously a moment that Williams obviously is treasuring. Um, all designed, I think, to try and win over Steeler Nation, to win over the fans, to show that they are getting a firm that care about the Pittsburgh Steelers and care about the Pittsburgh area. Um, like I said, it's a, a response to that criticism that came. That this is a grand, this is, this is a Grand Rapids, Michigan firm and not a Pennsylvania-based firm. Uh, there was obviously a lot of talk as well about the length of the deal, the fact that it's 15 years. A number of reporters asked, would the Steelers play, play in the Acrisure Stadium for the full term of this 15-year agreement? I think as in terms of the current stadium and not a new stadium. In response to that, Art Rooney really the second said, Art Rooney II when asked if the Steelers would stay in Acrisure Stadium throughout the 15-year deal. I certainly hope we're here for longer than that. We'll be dealing with the, that in the future. Maybe not, may, not be me. Hopefully, it's somebody named Rooney. So obviously, there's that uh, 
that comment there that shows that the Steelers are planning to stay at what was Heinz Field, which is now Akushaw Stadium, and there is no plans for the Steelers to move to a new stadium or to build a new stadium at any point in the near future, and that this is the stadium that they will be remaining in for at least 15 years years if not longer obviously the hope there that um art really second that the rooney family would continue to own the uh, pittsburgh steelers beyond that 15 year sponsorship contract now there's also been a lot of questions asked about why akashore became interested in pittsburgh what was one of the major movers behind bringing akashore and the steelers together and getting akashore to pay out this amount of money to sponsor the stadium now last year oh i think it might have even be the start of this year Aquashore bought an artificial intelligence company as part of their oper their continued operations to improve their technology, imp improve their artificial intelligence and their insurance market um, knowledge. This firm was one of Tulco's firms. Now, who are Tulco? Tulco is owned by a guy called Thomas Tull. So what I hear you say, well, Thomas Tull is a long-term um, Pittsburgh Steeler shareholder and also now a minority shareholder in the Aquashore Insurance Company. So this is what emerged. I'm only the second at Aquashaw Stadium. I want to acknowledge Thomas Tull, who was the catalyst for bringing us together. Thomas has been a shareholder for, of the Steelers for 14 years now. So it seems clear that the um, move to bring Aquashaw and the Steelers together was one started by long-term minority shareholder in the Steelers, Thomas Tull. Uh, Tull, obviously, who is a multi-billionaire who has owns several technology companies and has a large part of the company called Tulco, as well as that minority shareholding in Acrishaw. He seems to have been the major reason that this this um, this deal happened, that the two, the, the Steelers and Acrishaw came together to form and to become the Acrishaw Stadium. It was also released yesterday, a mock-up of what the stadium may well look like once it is rebadged and renamed and the Heinz symbols are removed from around the stadium. Here, which obviously says Acrishaw Stadium, there's the Acrishaw logo, which some Steeler fans have already indicated a dislike for. Um, but this is what the stadium may well look like. This is a photoshopped mock-up of it that was released today at the press conference. In addition to that, um, Art Rooney was asked about the role of local firms in continuing to sponsor the Pittsburgh Steelers and elements of the Steelers Stadium. Because as we know, there are parts of the Steelers Stadiums that are sponsored by FedEx, for example, and not by Heinz. Now, yesterday it was revealed that Heinz do want to continue to have some part in sponsoring certain parts of the Steelers uh, ground of the, of, the, of the Pittsburgh Steelers organization. Um, Art Rooney said the following. Ira II says the Steelers didn't close the door on anybody when asked about having any local sponsors having a shot at the naming rights. So this is obviously an indication that the, no point did they stop anyone bidding on the naming rights, but also now that they are still open to uh, local firms coming in and sponsoring different parts of the organization and the franchise. It's hoped and felt by some fans that uh, the, ketchup the ketchup bottles, here we go, may well remain. Um, even though it is the Acrishaw Stadium as of now, some fans have hoped that maybe the red zone, um, when that comes, it comes as part of this game and part of the game and with the Steelers moving to the uh, Heinz red zone, that that could still be termed and named the Heinz red zone. And Heinz could still be the sponsors of the red zone. And then they could still continue to use this, um, the, the legendary ketchup bottles are filling up the screen with ketchup. Whether that happens or not, obviously that is something for Art in the second, Acrishaw and Heinz to discuss and come to an agreement on. So guys, in the cold light of day, with all the new announcements that have come out today with the press conference, where, you know, go away and have a listen to the press conference. It's about 27, 28 minutes long on Steelers.com. Go away and have a listen to it. Let me know what you think of the new name now. Do you think it's a good deal for the Steelers getting 150 million over over 15 years? Is this what the Steelers need? A, you know, financial, solid financial basis being brought in by this company. Is it now uh, a bit of an overreaction to say that you don't like the name and it'll always be Heinz Field to you? Or are you one of these fans like me that will continue to call it Heinz Field for, until the day you die? Uh, because it's Heinz Field. It's been Heinz Field for 21 years now. You know, I remember three, I remember the Three River Stadium, but Heinz Field is the Steelers' home to me. And that's why I will continue to call it. I'd love one of those t-shirts. It'll always be Heinz Field to me. Um but, you know, it's a good deal. It's worth, the money's good, but, you know, it's Heinz Field, isn't it, guys? Anyway, let's finish this as we always do with, here we go, Steelers. Come on!